Boom. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Uh, here again doing a movie review, so expect major spoilers for this bad boy. Uh, as always, we're going to start off with a review. Uh, no, no, a score, because everyone likes to skip to the very end for our uh, for scores. So we thought we'd just get it out of the way. We'll do a review of the movie, what we thought, and then we're going to do another score at the end to see if anything changed, if we swayed each other. So, uh, yeah, here again with uh, BJ and Michelle. Uh, so what do you think? Bright, we're reviewing Bright. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it was, like, groundbreaking in some way. I didn't feel like I was... Cool. Yeah. You know, I, I, I just felt like it was just... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was, it was a good movie, interesting to add, like, all these elves and dwarves, but it's, like, what they're talking about... Wait, what's your score, though? Okay, my score... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 3.5. Oh, out of five. Out of five, three point five out of five. Yeah. Oh, that's cold. All right. Well, I gave it a five out of five. Well, uh, what does what sounds better, three point five out of five or seven out of ten? It's the same thing. That's true, actually. Yes, you're right. You're right. Mathematically, it is the same thing. But that's a perspective issue, right? Marketing. So mm-hmm. if you do three out of five, you're like, ah, it's kind of weak. Three point five, it's kind of weak. But if you do like seven, it's like, hmm. Seven not bad. Seven's not bad. <laughs> exactly. But okay, okay so uh, given that, let's see what uh, what did you like about it. What I like so about it. So you were saying about your uh, it's a nice little take. Uh, it I mean it it had like the talk of the like societal structures and stuff, but yeah, for sure. I think I've seen that in other movies. It's okay. just now yeah. we're adding uh, like uh, dwarf or not dwarves, what do you call orcs and. Elves and right, yeah, yeah, yeah. fairies and dragons. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Uh, see, like, so speaking of that, I I found it was like a more mature version of uh, Zootopia. Have you seen Zootopia? Yeah, yeah. So like, it, it was all about like inherent racism and like how we combat that. And like, there was a lot of elements within the movie that I felt like. Uh, most animations they get to you know what I mean like uh, a lot of animations mm-hmm. will like tackle these things because it's like oh it's a kids movie nobody's gonna take it seriously but if you do like an adult movie then it's like we can attack these themes without going too far off the rails it's sort of like a fight club-esque uh, take on society without having to like put off people because you know what I mean you still have like the the shootouts and like the elven stuff so like you kind of get like the the dullness of it yeah you know, it's kind of like Star Wars. You know, there's like a mm-hmm. um, a shallow point in order to get a deeper point out there. You know what I mean? Right. But uh, strictly on a strictly on a movie level, like what what were your gripes? Uh, I, I all right, wait, wait. Let me let me quickly pause. Was the movie about like uh, Lord of the Rings? Because my sister and I were watching, and we like turned to each other, and we're like, well, I turned to her, I was like. Is this like uh, like ten? Because they were like, oh, in the past the orcs chose the dark, and I was like, is this like Lord of the Rings right now? Like, is this like <laughs> what happens in the future? That would be kind of cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, this is, uh, that was the thing that that was my gripe was not enough information to the past. Like, who are these? Like, how did they get here? Uh, yeah, true, true, true. Like, sort of things were not explained. Right, right, right. So, so a lot of movies Fully. like. Yeah. So sometimes they'll like uh like diverge into two categories it'll either like you, you have to uh satiate both i guess you have to address both you mm-hmm. have to have a good story as well as a good message mm-hmm. i feel like maybe though the story wasn't that great in this movie although i would totally watch it again uh because it's like a feel-good movie the no, was message good. was there yeah. you know no, no, no. I mean? yeah i enjoyed it it's just i don't think it was anything groundbreaking for me for sure no no i i see what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. right um but like, uh, what did you? I I found that society wise, I really liked how uh, they showed like the upper and lower class. I love the gang stuff. That was really cool because it was like, like it was very uh, um, realist. I I shouldn't. Yeah. I've never seen that like in real life, so I can't really say it's realistic. But it seemed very. <laughs> it seemed very like uh, to the point of what I hear about of like Compton and like all these places, and then like the orcs are the ones doing it. So that was kind of cool, but then you you saw like the Spanish gang, and then well, they're all still there because where where Will Smith was living was still kind of like a ghettoish area, ghettoish area, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. In, in that terminology. But uh, I I guess everyone was still living in our version of society, like for sure, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They but just now we're just adding more mm-hmm. orcs. Orcs are even lesser than us, or something like that. And then yeah, yeah, true. Elves are like the, the rich. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because of Legolas. You know. <laughs> so, okay, uh, let's just go through the movie then. Uh, it started off with, uh, what did you think about the house scene with the whole fairy? Like, oh, visually, to... it looked amazing. I know, that's what I'm saying. Visually, it looked really good. Yeah, I, I know, right? I was like, uh, this is a really good movie. Yeah, yeah. You know? So what didn't you like about it? It's like visually, it's just the story. Wasn't... I think it was, it's the story. Right, right, It's right, just right, the story. Right. Yeah, true, uh, the plot, like it wasn't, it didn't yeah. take you on a giant ride. It was just like, uh, you have to get the wand back. Uh, there's corruption, you have to get the wand back, and mm-hmm. then you got the wand back. Yeah. You know, it was like, it's pretty basic. But like, I, I wasn't sure if the wand is like affecting someone's mind into being. Oh, that's interesting. Because that's what I felt happened it's with, like with the, the three cops. kind of like the ring yeah, yeah, exactly. And I no, think someone it's, it's mentioned human, that too. human greed, though. I don't think it was like that because, like, uh, Will Smith... No, because because when they showed the really wand, it. it was like this... The music that was playing was meant to, like, them falling... Yeah, yeah, but I, I, felt, like, I felt like that was human nature itself. In no, 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 but no, no, what I'm saying is... Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying is that it felt like that's what they were showing. But when I saw the the other cop mm-hmm. that helped them at the... Like, uh, who got shot there. Um, the Spanish one? The, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He didn't seem to be like affected by it. Yeah, yeah, because it's I didn't I didn't think there was like any hypnotic power. No, but that's what I thought because that's what it felt like. Everyone oh, it, was, yeah, was, right, right, was, was getting that. Right, right, right. In the beginning, you mean? Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah, I wasn't sure because even even Will Smith said that too, right? Yeah. Don't yeah, show yeah. him because he'll want it. Right, right. Of course, yeah, but but it's like the right. human nature, the greed. So maybe, yeah. You know. okay. uh, I one thing I don't like about movies. Uh, I don't like movies where it's like you're you're on a whole chase and then you realize that it was back where you started in the beginning. I think Finding Nemo was like that or something like that. No, Finding Nemo wasn't like that. But like you know, like they they where they started is where they ended off. It was like, damn it, if you just stayed there the whole time, you know, what I mean? we would have totally missed out. Like they had well, to like. Well, they had to go back to to, to heal save her. her. Yeah, yeah, to save her. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, oh man, like. We went in a full circle. I just, I don't like full circle movies unless it's like, it's like, it starts off, full circle movies are cool when you start off at a place and then you go through the story and then you end up back at that place because it's like, it's showing you the recap. That was cool. But like, I don't like it when you're, you're already at the location and it's like, man, you could have just done this thing and then, you know. That's true. Because those, the... So why we Magic have Task Force was going to meet you there anyways. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, man, you know, just like... <laughs> oh, but it, I guess that's like so, a drawback to its story. Yeah, another, another grime was uh, the elves, those uh, rebel elves, mm-hmm. their fight scenes were awesome, and they're like, oh, they're tough to beat, but then... Oh, yeah, for sure, for uh, sure, at the very they end. They were very easy to take down with just Will yeah, Smith and, and the... Right, let, let, let's continue the story then. So uh, he huh. gets shot... On the job, he wakes up. Uh, he has to kill a fairy that, like, that's kind of like a bee, I guess. Like, it's like a little nuisance. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. But then he's like, yeah, fairy the lives, fairy don't, lives matter. don't matter. That was really funny. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, okay. <laughs> so what else? And then they, you see, I felt really bad for the orc. Did you, like, mm-hmm. when he was being yeah, bullied he's, at the Yeah, I think he's meant to be, like, an innocent yeah, he's like, he's that so becomes nice. jaded or something. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of feeling that. Like he was like an idealist, you know. Idealist, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then, yeah, you go on the thing. They they respond to a call, and then they find a dead person with like a wand, and then they call it in. And then the first people to want the wand are the police force. But it's interesting because like, if you just treated your your civil servants well, would they be? Um, uh, would they want to revolt? You know what I mean? Like, the police officers, they, they wanted the wand because they want all their debt and all their, like, hardships to go away. Mm-hmm. But, like, Will Smith, like, he had to, like, choose between, like, okay, your debt or, uh, the or like, doing the right thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do, do you feel like societally it would have... Like, if we're all happier, we'd have a harder time making the tough decisions. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah. That's, right, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, if you paid the cop point. well, he would have done his job properly and they would have brought that in. Yeah. But the reason why they, they were all, like, kind of greedy because bad stuff was happening, so mm-hmm. um, they decided, you know, let's take the easy way out for this one. And then, okay, and then after that, the shootout happened. I thought that was really cool. I thought Will Smith was going to shoot him, but then I was like, mm, is he really going to shoot him? Like, I didn't know how it was going to play out. <laughs> and then when, he, when he's, like, he turned around... Well, when you find the out the story of what... 
what basically happened uh, after the, when Will Smith got because that's what yeah, he wanted so the, to find in, out. Did right, he right. let his own people go because right? So in the very beginning, Will Smith gets shot by an orc, and then uh, he's wondering, did the orc, his partner, let the uh, orc that shot him get away? Yeah. Right. Just spoiler alert: turns out that it wasn't in, it wasn't the same orc. So the one that he let get away was just another random orc. Um, yeah, random kid. Who, off who doing... turned out to be a gang leader's son, who saved them. <laughs> yeah, later he, on, which was kind of cool. That was back. another good message. Just yeah, like yeah. karma. You but I could call know. that though. Did you call that? You knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, no, I was I like didn't. looking at this kid. I can like that a reaction of him was like, I think this kid is the one that he's who, that saved him. Really? Oh, I or that was, he saved. Sorry. I thought it was gonna be like a revolting kid where it's like it's like no, 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 because I I think it was gonna come back to him and help. Uh, uh, the orc officer, uh, right? All right, yeah. Like I, I thought that I'm. My guess was right in that sense. Like mm-hmm. I predicted that. Right, I were saying. I was just wondering if you did. No, no, I, I totally didn't. I didn't catch that one. I thought he was going to be like one of those people in like the the Hitler camps where they're like, this is wrong. Oh. And then he was like seeing it as like, oh, this is kind of wrong. Well, yeah, it, I guess they were giving that tone off. Up until, like, they twisted it where, yeah. um, you know. But, uh, okay, so, because I don't want to get jumped to that part yet. Mm. Uh, what did you think of the gangs when they showed up? So I thought that was really cool. Once the police shooting happened, like Will Smith killing his own police officers, um, the gang came out of nowhere and they're like, oh, that's a lot of blood. Are they okay? That was hilarious. And then you're <laughs> like, you're starting to freak out. You're like, uh-oh, like, what's going to happen to Will Smith? Yeah. You know, because, like, that's a lot of gangs. And then... Um, and then he like uh, he says that SWAT's coming, and then they get in the car, and then they escape, uh, being chased down. And then all of a sudden, um, they find themselves in a strip club, yeah. where the Elven army shows up, who's like actually after the wand. Mm-hmm. They show up and they slaughter everyone. So this is <laughs> yeah. so this is your part where you're like, okay, because later on, like Will Smith and his partner easily kill the mm-hmm. elves, but in this one scene, it's like they're just slaughtering them like no tomorrow. Yeah, you know, and they're yeah, like that's invincible, what I mean. and you're like, wait, <laughs> how did Will Smith do this? Like, what kind of crazy martial arts training has this guy had prior to? You know, <laughs> maybe they weren't good in uh, small places, small spaces. Maybe yeah, they they're because uh, they do like a lot of spin kicks and stuff, so they couldn't get that <laughs> off. But that that was really cool. I did like how the orcs were, uh, no, the elves were very like agile and stuff. Mm-hmm. The fight scenes were actually pretty impressive. I thought so. Like they had also like they didn't have much background of also their the enemy. You know what I mean? Yeah, for the sure. Bad guy. Like mm-hmm. there was a little bit of information with that guy that they had were interrogating. Right. The yeah. M M Magic Task Force. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. MTF. Yeah, yeah, they were they were like alluding to a past, but they never really like addressed the past. Yeah, and who she was, and like none yeah, of that yeah, was. Yeah, sure. really but maybe that's what number two will be because they said you said yeah, it just there. recently they now. But based on, I guess it's a success, so that's why Netflix. But announced. they pumped a lot of marketing into this. Like prior to watching it, like uh, if you pump a lot of marketing into something, it can go one of two ways. It's either it's gonna be an amazing movie, and that's why you're pumping the marketing, or it's gonna be a really crappy movie, and you're trying to like sell pre-sale tickets to go watch it you know what i mean mm-hmm. well it is one of their bigger budget movies that they've that they've made but still like the, so they like do the want it to be a success that. like batman versus superman oh no no no, no, no that was a good movie uh just sleep mm-hmm. right that was a terrible movie yeah there's other problems with that one yeah for sure yeah it's totally uh, so but all right back to bright um oh so if you're wondering brights are people who can touch the wand uh, is he a bright okay so here's a question yeah oops he is a bright he is a bright, right? Yeah, he okay. said that. Like the, was he a human that they interrogating? I guess he was a human, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he said that there's like one in a million chance, something like that, oh. that a human can be a bright. Okay, because because when he grabbed it, um, I was like, is he a bright or is that other bright using magic to? Um... Oh, no, no, no. Because that's what that's what the other guy said. Oh, okay. One okay. In a million. So he is a bright. So, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those movies where, like, now that you know what happened, you kind of want to watch it again just to see, like, what you missed and, like, what they were alluding to the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he had, he had a sweet tattoo on his back when he was getting out of bed. Oh, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So like, maybe they'll explain that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Back story of who these people are. Yeah, for sure. Um, so then after after the slaughter scene, uh, they escape. They go to a gas station. They call their partner. 
their other friend to come help them out. And that friend, the Mexican dude, uh, he's like, oh, we got to cuff you because it's, it's going to look bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they call the MCU, what was it? Magic Task Force? Magic Task Force. What's MCU? Marvel Universe. Marvel Comics Universe? <laughs> I, I guess, yeah. Uh, so they, they call the... Uh, the FBI, the magic, magic task force, yeah. and then they go to meet them. But then the elves, the evil elves, they hear about it, and then they yeah, intercept they to, them. Yeah, they're like they're so like they're brilliant. They know how to handle technology. They know how to fight well. Like, yeah, they're yeah, the exactly. elites what, of the elites. Crazy, like yeah, that's kind of interesting to see too. Because like the the elite of the elite, the elves, they diverge into two groups. It's either you're power hungry, mm-hmm. uh, in terms of. With it, but actually, it's kind of interesting. You're either power hungry within the system because the elves are rich and they're just gaming the system, yeah. Or you're power hungry outside of the system, but either way, elves are power hungry. Mm-hmm. That which what we can tell from it, except for the main girl who like helps them because she realizes that calling the Dark Lord back. Oh, so that was the big the big plot. Like they want to bring the Dark Lord back. Um, that the elves that are chasing them. Yeah. Yeah, but so this elf is good, decides to help them. Uh, then what happens? Oh, and then so they escape in the gang, and this is the cool part. They they get uh, brought to the gang leader, the orc gang leader. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the twist is the orc that got away from um, the police uh, guy in the beginning of the movie, he was the son of the gang leader. So what I was wondering about this one was like, uh, did did the orc police officer know it was him the whole time because he could smell him? Remember he's like, oh, we all have a scent. Yeah, he knew it was him the whole time, right? Uh, Remember think, he's like, that's the guy they let go. Yeah. So why don't you say something? You know what I mean? What, like he. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. That's that's he's so like, noble. Yeah. So uh, yes, we're like, you know, it's when it's right to say it, he'll say it for the story. I guess, but it was like, story. it was like, damn, you were like super noble. I would have been like, bro, I let you go, dog. Like, you helped me out in this situation right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, or I, I know you, something like that, you know? But yeah. like, uh, the fact that he didn't say anything, it was like, but I guess it was like orc mentality, right? Because mm-hmm. they're like, the orcs never snitch or whatever. And like, that's how you get blooded. Right. You know? Oh, so uh, interesting side note, he shaved down his own uh, fangs. I didn't realize that. I was wondering about that. Yeah, he like how did you down. how did you catch that he was the one who shaved his own thing in that in that same place uh, when those when the orc boss got him? Oh, okay, because I saw Cause like he like opened up his mouth and he saw like it was shaved down. Oh, he okay, too, okay. I, I thought they were like they never grew in or something. No, no, no. Oh, okay. they were there. Because because remember in the beginning like the um, the orc in the elven area he made some gesture to him about his teeth. Yes. And where I was where like, are they? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, did you like, did you lose a, like, but this is a really weird story about like somebody trying to fit in so hard. You know what I mean? He yeah, feels yeah. he has no place in society. Like the orc police officer, he's got no place in society. So he's like, or no trying, place in both sides, right? In both sides. So he's just yeah. trying to like, he's like, without my badge, I'm nothing. That's why he puts up with a lot. That's yeah. like a, that's a belief system. That's like, it's amazing to see how far a belief system can carry you, you yeah. know? Um, I mean, uh, he grew up thinking, I mean, wanting to be a cop. But by being a cop, you're also uh, secluding yourself away from your own people. Exactly. Yeah, because, and from yeah. the cops who view you uh, yeah. not, not like their own. It's it's almost like, I don't want to like, is not to be racist or anything, but it, it kind of reminded me of like black people in like basketball teams or something. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, they were obviously good at the game. But like, if you watch that Coach Carter. But they they kind of alluded to that in their movie too, right? It's like, how did this, like, when... Oh, I do. Do orcs have hops? Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, like, yeah. there's no way this guy could have jumped that high right, or something. Yeah, yeah. Are they in basketball? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, already... Yeah, true. Like, yeah. That's true. It's true. I don't know who they're mar- who they're showing who's being marginalized in this movie. Was it the blacks or, like, oh. the Hispanics? Mm-hmm. Like, who were they trying to show the suffering for? Who do you think? I thought it was, like, the blacks at first, but then I was like, it could be the Hispanics. Like, no, no, no. Or no. just, I felt just like racism all around. Just a, I think all around, yeah. Oh, okay. But they're showing, like, some pivotal parts, you know what I mean? Like, Or they're, like, kind of, like, mix of, like, gangsters slash, um, like, bikers. They had that kind of feel. True, some, of true, them, true. some of them have that feel. But, like, what ethnicity, though? You know what I mean? Well, was being... I think they were trying to hit both, in, like, both things. They are adding, uh, uh, like, a mix of those two. 
Right. I think. You know what's you know what's interesting to think about? How many people actually view this movie and see the deeper meaning behind it? You know, it's like, oh, this is a contemporary. This is like a movie about like contemporary racism. Mm -hmm. You know, or are they just like, oh, screw arcs, they're terrible. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> like there's like different levels to it. It's yeah. sort of like the cartoons. You know, the Disney cartoons where they talk a lot about like real life lessons, yeah. but they present it in a way that's like approachable for children. Right. You know, just this uh, observation. So, uh, so then he gets killed. Yeah. I was surprised he got sniped. He didn't get sniped, but he got shot by a sniper rifle. And I was like, <laughs> dang, that's got to hurt. And then uh, the elf, she realizes he's, like, good. And then she brings him back to um, back from the dead. And then all the orcs are like, oh, um, it is the prophecy. So they, they decide not to attack him. Yeah. Which I thought that was really cool as well. I was like, not, not cool, but, again, it's back to belief system. It's, it's like... If something fits a specific thing, we're not going to. Yeah, all of a sudden, from an enemy becomes their god. Their almost. god, yeah. you know. Yeah. Again, belief systems are crazy. It's like mm -hmm. I thought that was interesting about the movie. Um, and then they go back because she starts to get really sick. So the only place to heal her is to put her back in the pond. Yeah, at the same building that they were at. So it's like, oh, we gotta trek all the way back. But then while there, the evil one is there, like the main elf leader. And yeah. Then they, they fight, they get slaughtered. Like it was an easy battle. Not easy. It was not like, easy, but it was like relatively easy. Like there yeah. was no point where I was like, oh, you're gonna die here. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so that was an interesting one. It's like that's continuity error. It's like how good is Will Smith and his partner? <laughs> Maybe they're amazing. Who knows? But they kill the whole SWAT team. Yeah, they did. Right? Like, those elves were so good that they killed a gang. Like, it's one thing to kill a gang because, like, okay, they had no formal training. But you killed a full SWAT team, bro. <laughs> a SWAT team that was trying to, like, infiltrate yeah. you, you killed them all. Mm -hmm. You know? So that was uh, that was a bit of, a like, a jump. Uh, and then police get called? Uh, then... Oh, Will Smith oh, yeah, uh, Will reveals Smith that he's uh, bright yeah, by yeah, picking up the wand. Yeah. And then she says, like, the incantation's this, and he says it, and he, like, slaughters her. That was kind of cool. It was, like, mm -hmm. very last minute. Uh, and then they wake up. Like, we didn't even see any oh, who the Dark Lord is or who the... Yeah, maybe that's part of part two, you know what I mean? There's no backstory. But they were putting, like, heavy marketing. All right, we'll I, get... I think they put too much. We'll, we'll get into that after, because I, I want to actually... Okay. Right, like, yeah, that is pretty interesting. Um... Uh, so then after they wake up, they're in the hospital. I thought that was a hilarious scene where he's like, don't say anything. And then he starts spilling his beans. He's such a good cop, a good person. <laughs> he's just like telling him everything. And then the the FBI elf. So this was another one. It's like, what do people believe and how can you skew that belief system to what you want? So like they didn't get killed. Um, oh, that same orc people, they showed up at the very end and they bled. They cut themselves in order to show that like he's a good orc. You know, that was kind of cool. Yeah, it's his, what did they say? His blooding ritual? Yeah, yeah something like something. that. And then he felt really good about mm -hmm. himself. But uh, so it's funny how, like, the belief system, right? They were ready to kill him. Then because he came back from the dead, uh, they decided to make him, like, an honorary orc or whatever. They yeah, bled yeah. for him and stuff. And then at the very end, Will Smith, like, the FBI's like, okay, what happened? And then he tells them, like, the most generic story that has nothing to do with the Dark Lord or a magic wand. <laughs> it's all just about, like, an accident that happened. Yeah. And then he's like, good. And then they all they get awards for what happened. Right, right. And then Will Smith's pissed because he's like, oh, I don't like seeing him up there. Right? Like, the, the, the people he killed are up there with the people that Oh, yeah, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And it's like, but again, you skew the belief system to, like, operate society how you need to operate it because it's all based off of lies mm -hmm. you know beliefs uh, actually well quick side note a really funny belief system is like in uh in tai i think it's tai chi like i know this guy who believes heavily in like uh woo woo martial arts yeah so it's like so basically it's like a tai chi master that says that they can control your energy by spinning your hand they're like the energy around you and you mm -hmm. start spinning out of control and then you go flying like some magic right. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they wave their hands and then, and then I know like a lot of people <laughs> believe that. And it's like, that's just collective belief systems mm -hmm, right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you, you literally convince that person into uh, flinging themselves mm -hmm. because you know, you're, 
you're affecting beliefs. But again, just like the police officer at the very end of the movie, it's like you skew the belief system of an entire society so that it can continue operating the way it needs to operate. Yeah. Which kind of alludes to the idea of like, can you have a perfect society? Can you have a good society? Can we wake up from our delusion? It's like, no. We actually need that structure, you know? Uh, yeah, at least we think we need that structure. Uh, well, I, I think, uh, so, okay, so most people operate off of heuristics. Do you know, do you know what that is? Mental heuristics? No. Uh, they're, uh, it basically means like uh, uh, stereotyping. Mm-hmm. We rely on stereotypes, shortcuts, mental shortcuts. We were like, um, like, oh, uh, like some obvious ones are like black, good at basketball, uh, Mexican, probably eats Mexican food. You know what I mean? Like Filipino, amazingly good at everything. You know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Uh, so people people rely on those because if you were to actually think about everything on a day-to-day basis like everything you needed to know about society you would just like go crazy like how could you wait in line you know you'd have to know everything to its nth degree so we rely on mental shortcuts all the time yeah so and all right so then society operates off of mental shortcuts so it's like that's why i'm saying like we probably need the delusion like they were depicting at the end because what if what if they so imagine alternate ending they're like oh it was actually about they told the truth it's actually about a magic wand it's actually about this blah 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 how many people would suddenly be like wait there's a magic wand and they would search for the magic wand well maybe yeah that's where they had to keep the lie yeah so it's like because they knew that people would inherently nobody would think about it they'd think about their Mm -hmm. own greed mental heuristics right they'd be like oh i need that because my life is suffering right now versus being like oh this could actually be really bad if we went after it Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Maybe that's what they mean when they say like people are asleep all the time, right? It's like being asleep just means you're not like you're you're relying on mental heuristics. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not actually thinking. Maybe. You know? Maybe. All right. So, anyways, back to the movie. Uh, so, uh, what were you saying about in the marketing? They pumped a lot of. Uh, don't remember. Uh, it's just a you know it's a ninety million dollar. I think it's also the at the end of the year and they want to uh blow their entire year budget they're like we have 90 million we have a good movie coming will smith yeah but they went off actually like uh, apple music i was like searching for music and like oh no no i was downloading an app and then there was an ad for it downloading an app yeah like i was like updating my apps yeah on my iphone there's a but they generally do this like any movie that we do right but like Like, a week before but this was a lot like like, this was more than i had seen like even for um yeah, because this Netflix one of the uh, biggest budget movie, I would say. Right, right, right. So they were like trying to hit it out the park. So they got to make it successful. True, true, true. So, so um, I saw like the app for it, which is intense, and then I saw like these UFC shorts for it, you know, and then mm-hmm. I saw like uh, after I watched the movie, it's like go watch the music videos on Netflix. Well, I probably will just to check it out. Yeah. But like the custom music for the movie, that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they were like going off. They're really trying to, but maybe this is the future of movie making. You know what I mean? It's like, it's more of a holistic approach versus like the archaic, maybe they're setting a precedent. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's interesting uh, uh, ways they market too, because, uh, what sh- what image shows up on your Netflix feed? Uh, I, right, like, I don't know. So if they see you're into a lot of cop stuff, they'll show the cop no side way. of it. No way, yeah. really? If you like fantasy, you'll see that lady with the wand or something. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's wow. really, they, they really are in this new way of marketing, uh, especially yeah. on Netflix, because they know what you're watching. Uh, wow, They see that's your, your trends, right? So they can... Uh, focus in on the right type of marketing for you that may work really wow yeah. that's so sick man i didn't know that like people so again people like when i was in school uh like studying this stuff they were really adamant about how evil this was right like mm-hmm. the, the other classmates because again it's like oh invasion of privacy blah blah, blah blah and then i guess it's like true yes it's like um well if you have not you know people are like oh if you have nothing to hide you have you have nothing to worry about and that's like the conservative viewpoint but it's like no i just don't want them to invade my privacy yeah i feel like there should be an opt-in because i would totally opt in i actually like that like i like when ads show me stuff that i'm interested in yeah you know tailored ads it's yeah. like why would i why would i want to see like um that's why it can be more 
more of a success than 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 doing a regular Hollywood movie and making posters or something. Exactly, exactly. And like, who doesn't have Netflix? I feel like, like a, like I'm calling this one right now. Netflix is going to take over every entertainment resource. Like, it's going to be. Uh, movie wise, movie. Yeah, TV. it's interesting, you know, where they started from too, right? Just, Which is like you down, yeah, yeah, you like just order to it, order a DVD or something. Yeah, that was crazy. People thought that was nuts. <laughs> I remember when I first heard it, I was like, "What if I just don't give it back?" You know, like or something like that. You know, it's like, wait, you can just pay like five bucks for yeah. a movie. It's crazy, you know. No, people were doing it. People were watching it and they'll send it back and then get another movie. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But now it's like on demand. It's like your digital box, you know. Um, yeah. So now, yeah, they've moved in. They've changed so much since where they started. For sure, for sure. And it, it's funny because, like, we're in this digital age, and it's like the pioneers are really, like, putting a foothold in everything. So, like, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, Amazon, they're all becoming these major players, you know, in the whole field. And it's like uh, Apple is another one. They're becoming these major players, and it's like our future is literally going to be written by these people, mm -hmm. you know? Although, like, there was, like, the Rogers Center, the Bell Center, because, like, they're the ones who, um, you know, they were, they got the foothold in the, in the internet and landline business, right? Yeah. Then soon you're going to see, like, the Netflix Center, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because, like, they're going to be making so much money off of, uh, off of all this. But, yeah, I, I truly believe that um, Netflix is definitely going to set the precedent for a new way of making movies. It's like uh, – so I heard this on Jura. This is really, really interesting – the only thing we actually collectively as a society, unless you can name one, that we show up for something that's not live anymore is movies. Yeah. Like, when will you go to something where it's like, uh, it's not happening in that moment, and then you'll still go, like even concerts, it's like you're watching the DJ still play. It's like you don't go to like a concert and then you, they just play you a CD. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, so like it's almost like movies are dying now. Like, but I actually like movie theaters. No, I like I like, I like movie theaters. You know? I, uh, th there is a new someone trying something, but it's just starting now, where you can buy like a again a subscription for monthly and then go to as many movies. Oh yeah, yeah I saw that, but that's in America right now. Yeah, it's like a it's 12, slow, twelve dollars something. That yeah. was really cool. Actually, I wanted to sign up. For, I, it's funny because I heard about that too, and then I, I went to go sign up for it. And I saw it was only in America. Only and I was America. like, oh man, yeah. it's always America, man. So, they get it yeah, first. Yeah. True, true, true. <laughs> uh, I would totally actually, unless it's technology, because Asia gets it first. So, but yeah, yeah, like new services and stuff, like new um, uh, ease of doing things. Uh -huh. or, yeah, services. But yeah, so uh, I, I, I would actually sign up for that one. That would be pretty cool. But how could you pay for, like... I don't know how it works. <laughs> and uh, how do like, they make What's money? the percentage? Yeah, yeah exactly, because, exactly. But, but they, don't, they don't have the big, big movie um, theaters yet, though. Ex exactly, yeah, yeah. And, and what, what, you're, what the realization is, is like, you actually see a, a like... Um, uh, divergence now mm -hmm. in terms of movies because like if you go to the movie theater they've already done away with all the the tellers and stuff you know there's nobody working there mm -hmm. it's just like it's just all there's one manager and then there's just a bunch of screens and then you order your movie tickets from the screen yeah you know and there's no more uh waiting in line for the cashier which is kind of telling towards like what happens if netflix starts putting out these amazing movies yeah then it's like why would we go to the movie theater? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and then like you see these big cinema lines, like they start following suit, like um, like Paramount and like Universal, Disney. They all start like opting more for Netflix movies because even like Will Smith, right? Mm -hmm. He's uh, oh, let's get into this one. Who is the guy who's the orc? Uh, I forgot his name, but yeah, he's, he's from he's like, in a lot some of movies, movies that you. <laughs> so, uh, he he played uh, the. Uh, uh, Exodus, the brother. He mm -hmm. was in Fighter. Oh, was it called Fighter? Was it in that orc movie too? Was that him? I'm not sure. He he's like super Ramsey something. Yeah, keep going on. Let me look it up. All right, cool. So yeah, he uh, he plays like all these crazy characters. Like uh, he'll often play characters that you don't even know. Like he's he should win an award for his <laughs> acting. You know what I mean? Like he's he's like super good. Oh, what's his name? Joel. Yeah. Joel Ederton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that guy's sick. 
sorry for saying your name wrong, but he's he's awesome. Like you're, um, yeah, he was in the gift. Yeah, but he didn't. So like, uh, he he plays like characters that you would not expect him mm-hmm. to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what really astounds me about him. His acting prowess is sick. But yeah, so they have two famous actors, Will Smith and this guy, and it's like is this kind of a signal towards where they're going to go? Like, what's the next giant Netflix movie that's going to require a bunch of, like, uh, famous actors? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Will Smith's a big one. Yeah, yeah Will Smith them. is a big one. Except for his movie, like, a Suicide Squad. That was kind of a negative yeah, he on has, the top he has, like, uh, Yeah, there's rare runs that don't do well. Or, yeah. like, End of Watch director, also the director of uh, Suicide Squad. I'm like, uh, eh, should have just left Suicide Squad off, off there. Mm-hmm. You know? But, um... Yeah, so, like, I don't know if he took this one because he was doing so poorly in his... Like, he, I saw Concussion right after because we were on Netflix already. So uh, that was an amazing movie. But, like, After Earth was not very good. Was it After Earth? Yeah, the, the, one, the, the one... Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Sun, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, um, and then Suicide Squad was not very good. But... So maybe he's, like, you know, he's going back at it with, like, good scripts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... So yeah, prediction. Any changes in your score? Uh, my score. No, it's still five out of five. <laughs> five out of five. Yeah, I, don't, I, 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 don't I would give it a six. You know what? Six out of five. It went higher. Well, how does it go to six out of five? I don't understand that. It's I. I it beat Star Wars. Oh yeah. It beat Star Wars. Yeah. It beat Star, Wars. <laughs> Star Wars got five out of five, right? I gave five out of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it beat but Star you Wars. went up too, I think. No, no, no. I, all right, so How Star can you Wars, go up? Was, I, 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 let's not go up. I think that's not a right thing to do. No, Star Wars was 3.5, and then it went... What? Remember I said like uh, 3.5 in the beginning, and okay, then okay. when the lesson started to kick in, it became 5 out of 5. Okay. The thing I didn't like about Star Wars is I'd watch it again, but it's not re-watchable. Like, it wasn't... Like, so this movie gave me a lesson as well as made me feel dumb. So it's like I could enjoy something while at the same time learn something. They made learning mm-hmm. fun with this movie. But like Star Wars was like I wasn't enjoying the story as much. So I was learning. That's why I got a five out of five. Mm-hmm. But because I didn't enjoy it, it was like it was like five out of five. Yeah. I think, I think we should just six, stick. You know? to, I don't think we should be going above 110 percent like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we should be doing that. No, no, no. But then it's like there. That means that it's like worthy of my top ten, my top five. No, I don't. Okay, but still, I think we should just stick with. All right, fine then. Nothing above that. Everything. Whatever the score. Then you got to bell curve it. Everything that I said was over a five. You just got to drop all the scores now. So so (laughs) Star Wars is actually a four out of five. Okay. End of Watch was five out of five. Sure. Uh, what was that? End of Watch. Oh, Oh, sorry. End of Watch. uh, Bright. Bright. But see, I liked it because it was like it was so dumb, but so, like, um. So insightful. Okay. All right. Whatever. Okay. Again, this is opinion, so. Like, that's why I could watch it again. And then now I'm going to watch it again. I can't watch it again. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, it's done. See, I'd, I'd watch it again without looking for the lesson. I'd watch it just to, like, enjoy, like, two buddies, you know? Yeah. I loved King Arthur, though, so, like. Mm. See, I, but see, I guess it depends on the person. That's why you can never yeah. look at the, the scores because yeah. it's That's all about like... Yeah, their opinions. They're, yeah, they're all subjective because it's like, what do you like in movies? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm looking for lessons. Like, if I can take away something that made me think, then it's like, oh, it's a sweet movie. Mm-hmm. You know? Whereas you're into like the whole, wholeness of a movie. The yeah, wholeness all at once. Well, like, what? Yeah, all, like the whole thing. Uh, good message or... Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Um, good story. But all see, that sort here's of here's here's another one. So uh, our friend Brentley, he went to school for film, <laughs> right? And then he only likes movies like if it's not like avant garde with like some crazy <laughs> subliminal messaging. He's like, that's not good. I'm like, what the hell, man? This movie's so sick. And he's like, no, you gotta watch. You gotta watch this movie. And he'll like well, say something. He's, and he's I'll the... watch it. Like the hell was that, bro? It was like it's he... like black okay, and white. Yeah, yeah. And like uh, he... he's like. Know the message, bro. The message about, <laughs> and you're like, what message? The way the light shone on the screen. No, I, I know. I don't know what he's like, it's, oh my god, it's, it's, he's Oscar-worthy types that. of movies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's exactly. An Oscar and all those Oscar movies, all those movies that he suggests, oh. like I can't watch them. Like I still haven't watched Benjamin Button. I can't bring myself to watch it. I'm like, ah. Like, what am mm-hmm. I going to learn? I, I also don't like dramas because anything. It's like I got my own drama in my life, yeah. so I don't need to watch. 
somebody else's drama. I just need to learn from a movie, you know, mm-hmm. inspire me. I'm looking for inspiration mm-hmm. movies. But like, um, yeah, it's like Benjamin Button. It's like, but why would I watch that? But he's like, but the way he method acted, the way <laughs> the costume yeah, that's designed. Yeah, that's when he won Oscars. And you're like, oh, like, who cares about that, bro? <laughs> okay, is it a good movie? Yes. But it's like, was the story engaging? Did you learn something about it? Yeah. He regressed from being old to young. Or like 12 Years a Slave, couldn't watch that movie either. I was like, I'll check it out, you know, but it's like, I know that's just going to make me feel sad. Yeah, that's what the movie's supposed to do. See, see, that's another thing. I mean, so feel you, the emotions. You like movies that make you feel emotions. Yeah. I do not like movies that make me feel emotions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's why you watch foreign stuff. Because you're like, I want to I wanna watch something that's going to make me, uh, like, go through a roller coaster of feeling. Uh-huh. Right? And I'm like, I just want to be stoked. Well, yeah, but it's all, that's good. That's part of the feeling too, the whole thing. The stokeness? Yeah. No, but right, so, so I can watch. <laughs> Not just that. You know so I mean? uh, did you watch Warrior? Yeah. And what did you think? I liked it. Did, did you like it or were you like, I was like, I inspired, I was like, yo, I'm going to go trade right now, dog. No, I don't. That doesn't that's matter. what I'm saying. So it's like, for me, I would have given that movie a five out of five. Right, right, right. You would probably give it like two. You're like, that's all right. But no, it's no, 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 it was good. Oh, it was really you, good. Like what? A three? I think it was a four out of five for me. Four out of five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, did you like Mulan? Yeah. What'd you give that? Uh, those are like really good movies. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a high, good high score. I think. Five out of five. Uh, did you, oh, wait, here, here you go. Here. Did you like King Arthur? Did I enjoy? I enjoyed King Arthur. Okay. Well, what was your score for King Arthur? Uh, probably a three and a half out of five. Three and a half, three and a half. I would have given that like a fifteen out of five. Bro. <laughs> that movie is like encompassing everything you want to see in a movie. First of all, I love what Guy you Ritchie. want to see in a movie. And what I want to that's what I'm saying. That's really, yeah. I, I love Guy Ritchie. His style of like editing is amazing. I remember we walked out of the movie and you're like, oh, it's not very period piece. And I'm like, yeah, but it's Guy Ritchie though. Like Guy Ritchie makes the best movies because he's like lock stock. He's got that gangster feel, you know. <laughs> Plus it's like so it's like comedic, badass. And uh, you're inspired because the story of King Arthur is all about like overcoming your struggle, mm-hmm. your burdens and stuff. It's a very basic movie, but it's like it's getting you with the lesson. It's like you're you're lear- you're enjoying learning. Yeah. You, you know when you go to like math class and then no no not math that's a terrible example. <laughs> but you, you know when you're like in school and then you're learning something and it can be really dry. Yeah. You could have a really good teacher or you can have a really bad teacher. Mm-hmm. Right. So like. I feel like I want a good teacher yeah. when I'm watching a movie, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I feel like Benjamin Button is, like, an intelligent teacher, but he's not a good teacher. He's not an entertaining teacher. Oh, uh, okay. Look, guys, these are all opinions, right? This no, for nothing, sure, for sure. There's yeah. nothing wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. with an opinion. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, we're just saying that scores are, like, you can't trust scores. It's like yeah, if you like if you like point. the kind no no but what I'm saying is like if, like if yeah, you listen yeah. to this if you like the kind of movies that Vish likes go listen to him but if you agree with me and you're looking for something like X Y Z like I'm looking then you'll listen to me and you'll agree with me you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you're looking for some like weirdness you'll listen to Bradley Score because <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't know what you're talking about right now yo like, <laughs> some noir stuff yeah so uh, what what's your what's your final score. Uh, I think it's the same. 3.5? Yeah. So, am I not allowed to go over 5 anymore? No, I don't think we should. All right, fine, fine, fine. 3.5 to 5, so it becomes a 4 out of 5? What is that? For who? What's the final score or combined score? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's not, I'm not good at math. We're 70, 70, I got you. We're 70 plus 100 divided by 2. Uh, it's like 70 plus 15, 85%. Okay, sure. I, don't know. I think so. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Need an engineer here. Need uh, Jared. This is mathematics. Yeah, so okay. Uh, so go check out Bright. It's free. If you have Netflix, it's free. Um, nothing's really free. But sure. Nothing's really free. Yeah, it's it's accessible if you have Netflix. <laughs> uh, you don't have to pay extra like going to the movies. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so until next time. What what's our next movie? What's another one that's coming out? I don't know, man. I didn't look up the list. I don't like nothing's it's, like it's, looking very good. That we'll see as it comes. Ha- we'll we'll watch and we'll, we'll review. I don't sure, know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Maybe we'll do a couple Netflix ones. Well, we can. Well, you know, check us out on Twitter and 
Oh, That's yeah, what we'll, we'll say when we've what? got something coming up. Oh, yeah, for sure. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, check it. Yeah. Right, we'll have it on there. Yeah, yeah. Our score is before. Yeah, it totally, totally. Yeah. yeah. Would you Would you want to do, like, Netflix movies? We just did a Netflix movie. No, all right, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, other Netflix movies that we haven't seen, like, older ones? Or are you, like... Yeah, we can, yeah. Yeah, true. All right, cool, cool. So until next time, don't be an orc. See ya.